squared. There's B0. Which velocity is going to take it up? This one. So the one that's going to take it up is this one. So we need the height. We need the velocity of that one thing equation that has the height in it. And the one that has it is dy equals b 0 y square minus 2g y minus y z. OK? And we know that at the top, dy is 0. So that's 0 right there. We did a problem like that last time. So 0 equals b 0 y square minus 2g y. Let's call this. I'm going to change this to h for maximum height. Let's call this h. Maximum height. OK? Because that's how height is going to go. All right? So now we need to find out what b 0 y is. b 0 y is b 0 sine theta. What's this angle? 45. 45 degrees, here's theta. Theta equals 45 degrees. Okay? So that's, what did we say V0 was? It was 20. 20 meters per second. So that's 20 meters per second times the sine of 45. And that's going to give us, what's the sine of 45? No, sine of 45. Uh, sorry, 0.7, 0.71, yeah. 0.71? Yeah. So 20 times 0.71, 14.1 meters per second. That's B0Y. So now you come back over here, and you're going to have B0Y squared divided by 2G equals you see how I got that? Yeah. Okay, so now you just put this in. Put in your 14, 14.1 meters per second squared divided by 19.6 meters per second squared. And that's going to give you what? 10.1, right? Yeah. That's what I saw that most of you guys. So that's your maximum height right there. Maximum height 